Good morning, folks. So, one of the things I struggled with a little bit, getting into that next carving. Uh, I'll have an idea, but I think in my mind a lot of times I, I tend to think that I'm not capable of doing that type of carving. It's too detailed, it's too difficult, it's too whatever the case. <clears throat> but uh, I think I've come to find in the last few months that if you just push yourself to get started with that carving, I think you'll, you'll find that you'll be able to accomplish a lot more than you thought you could. So there's been a hat, a type of like a pirate hat that I've been uh, thinking about doing. Didn't want to try it out because I didn't think I was, I was going to be capable of, of coming up with that type of pattern design for myself. But I went on and got started with it. Uh, looked up a few different hats, probably a few hundred, um, and came up with what what I like. And it wasn't that difficult to get started. This is only about halfway finished up. So we've got a long way to go yet. I've got a lot of pencil marks on there. So I hope you'll, I hope you'll stick around. I think you'll enjoy uh, seeing me work on this little guy. And We'll get started. <laughs> I thought I'd show you Bear. He doesn't get any alone time very often. Because Duke's always out in the garage with me. So I thought I'd show you this guy. He's about gotten as big as big as Duke. <laughs> You good boy? Bye bye. You good boy. Okay, so today we've got a five inch piece of basswood and almost an inch and three quarters both ways. More like inch and whatever it is, eleven sixteenths, I guess. Um, almost three quarters, so um, I have gone on and drawn in a couple of eyes because I've got a, a dark spot in the wood and I'm going to turn it, it around and, and put it on the back side just in case we get into a little problem. If that goes a little deeper into the wood, it'll be back here on the back side. Hopefully we won't have to worry about it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go on and shave off the whole front of this guy. Pretty good chunk of wood, so get the big knife out and get your rough outs out. Give him a little shave down on the front corner. I'm going to take off probably. We're going to probably make this almost half inch wide, a flat spot here on the on the front. May end up being just a little bit wider than that. It's right at a half right there. Okay, so let's go down these sides and take off a little bit. Just so I can hold on to this big old hunk of, hunk of wood a little bit, a little bit easier. I 
I'm gonna go around to the back side and do the same thing. Let me take a little extra off on the back. About like we did on the front. If you're somebody just starting out and you're looking for knives, I bought my first set of knives, my first actual set of carving knives on Amazon. And I thought they did fine for me. You don't have to go immediately into, you know, I, I was that guy that wanted to just check out the whole thing and see if I even liked what, uh, see if I even liked this carving. Because when I first started out, I was using a, a box cutter. So I decided after about a month or so that I wanted to I wanted to continue. So I went ahead and purchased a couple of Amazon knives. This one, that guy there, they've been fine. I've, I think I've mentioned in the past that 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 little detail knife right there doesn't doesn't get as sharp as it used to. But I've really worked hard on it lately to because it's nice and pointy. This this flex cut knife that I normally use is is kind of wide and it, it makes it a little tough sometimes to get down in the where you're working on eyes or next to noses or ears. It makes it a little tougher to get down in those in those places. So something a little pointier if you're if you're somebody just starting out and you like the way eyes look, if you want to try to learn how to do eyes right off the bat, then you're going to need something a little with a little more tip on it like that. So, anywho. Here's my 30 second plug for an Amazon knife. And they were cheap. I got a set. I got this, that, and uh, a, like a spoon, spoon knife. And a, a stropping set. For about, I don't know, it's about 50 bucks, I guess. Maybe not even quite that much. But anyway, there you go. Uh, you don't have to spend a whole lot to get started. You don't have to have all all of those items. You can buy a rough out knife and maybe a detail knife. You don't even have to have a detail knife right off the bat. You could you could go with just a rough out knife, or you could go with just a, a detail knife, something a little smaller. It's all going to get you there. It's just getting started. Okay, so on the front side, come down about an inch and a quarter. Come down about an inch and a quarter and draw your little, little line across the front. And let's go down a half an inch longer, which would be an inch and three quarters on the very back. And let's draw that same line in at inch and three quarters. What I'm kind of doing here is rounding up on the back. Kind of a smiley face on the back, frowny face on the front. That's the bottom of the hat on the front and back. So then from there you can, you're gonna to taper towards, your back line 
both sides. It's, it's just like a half an inch taper all the way around, but gives it just a little bit of slant. That hat sitting on a pony's head, a little bit of a slant backwards. So the back part of his hat sits a little lower on his head than the front side does. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can fix that with your with your cuts. All right, let's come down another half an inch. A half of an inch and give it, uh, give ourselves another little, little line right there. It's going to be my, my eyes and I'm going to slant those down just a little bit on both sides. About halfway between here and here. And for the bottom of the nose, let's go down. Let's go down about an inch and inch and an eighth. Make us a little line across there. That'll be our nose coming up. And we'll put a we'll put him a little mustache in here. Something like that. Give him a little longer over here. No mouth there, and in a little waistline. Anyway, we'll get to that here in a minute. So let's go ahead and let's cut in this hat, cut up to it. Just stop cutting in. And come all the way around. sink it in there pretty good we'll have quite a bit of wood to take out on this big old inch and three-quarter square piece of wood <clears throat>
little deeper now all the way around after you get your line established just go back around it and make it a little deeper and there's our bad spot right there that we were talking about earlier and it's doesn't look like it gonna mount to anything all right maybe get a little deeper here on the on the side corners where his shoulders would be or his ears because we're going to have to take more off there so it can be a little deeper Okay. All right, let's take some more of these sides off. The arm sides. And let's go up here and take off. Let's come up about a half an inch or so and just start taking those sides out on the hat. Chunk it out here a little bit. Get started. Now I started out at about a half an inch, but now I'm I'm coming down a little closer and kind of swooping up towards the top. Okay. All right, let's go on and let's go on and put the bottom of that nose in before we lose that pencil mark.
all those eye sockets back in. That's about a half an inch down from the bottom of the hat there. Kind of angle them back, back down. Put your nose in there. Okay. Let me take this, this eye socket. Put it out. Come down with the side of your nose. Do that on both sides. Deepen in that eye socket a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take that corner off there too. I'm going to take this little bit of this cheek out while I'm here. Take the corner of that nose off. On both sides. Even out your nose a little bit. Now you're going to try to take out, deepen that nose in while we're here. Take your stop cut down the nose. All right, now we're going to take, let's go and get that big knife back. I want the nose to stick out farther than the mouth this time. So, and you know, guys, I, a lot of times I don't do that. I get, I try to get a character feeling for a carving. And a lot of times 
I won't even want that nose to stick out farther. I want that mouth to be out farther. <clears throat> I think it gives it a more... I, I used the word ridiculous before. Sometimes I want it to look a little bit off. So let's just dig. Put that mouth in a little deeper there. That face is going to come into play here, so you're going to have to come all the way up to the eye socket with a couple of those cuts. there for a second and I'm going to draw that draw a little bit more back in and we'll go from there <clears throat> 